Witterson. Guys, the sun's got the best of us today, which is nice for us if we were going sunbathing, but not the best for me because obviously you can see a lot of glare on this video. So I wish the sun would get lost, but I'm going to show you today's in store, which is on a W204 facelift version, which basically means it's the 2011 to 14 car, if not right. Uh, so obviously this system is our 12.3 inch screen today. It comes with the frame that comes around here and it goes around your uh, rev counter there. So obviously that frame comes in there, but apologies, you're not going to be seeing the best of the video today or the best of the screen. Uh, because as you can see there's a lot of glare and the, the sun is absolutely blinding today uh, so it works in with the existing radio here so this is your NTG menu which comes on there we do have the system for the older version which is the pre-facelift and also the W205 version which is the 2015 onwards uh, this is as I say this has got on the NTG 4.57 uh, today so um, as you can see here it's got a nice little speedometer you can get rid of this here if you want in the back end settings uh, with a password which we can give over to you and that'll basically get rid of that one there and push the whole screen across there uh, but obviously we're just going for that size today we fitted a rear camera today which i'll just show you if we put into car reverse so as you can see there's the rear camera as you see it's got the trajectory line so when i'm turning the steering wheel the lines will also move to the parking sensors are here uh, so i'll just knock it back into forward um, okay, so basically if you want to go into the Android settings, you'll actually hold down this uh, back button here or you can press the touch screen, one or the other. So if I just do the whole back button and that'll take you into the Android side here, which is, uh, this is the latest Android 12. Uh, you'll know it's Android 12 because it comes with this little weather app here, which uh, works in conjunction with an internet connection. As you see, we've got it all tuned up to Bevington, which is where we are today. So if we just go out there, just to show you, we haven't touched took this touch screen protective film off. We let the customer do that, but it will work uh, a lot better in the centre. Some terms, of, obviously, you see it's nice and free from lag anyway. As I say, with me doing that twice, then you see, obviously, you need to take this protective film off. As you can see, it's working pretty swift and responsive. Um, so obviously, you have got your navigation here. So it comes preloaded with. Um, oh, forget that one there. That's a Chinese map. It comes preloaded with uh, Google Maps and a brand. So if I was just to do that, set navigation there, set it down to Google Maps. So if we go back to that one there, obviously you can see Google Maps come up here. Um, now you can put any map on there of choice. So obviously you can download any off the Google Play Store, which will then go into the memory of the system. And then you can put it over to there. The reason you're not getting much of a map today is because obviously there's no internet connection. We haven't connected to, to our Wi-Fi. But you will get your maps there uh, music app here which basically if you want to put your music on a pen drive and put it onto a usb and then plug it into the cable of the system then obviously you can play your music through there but i'll be truthful with you a lot of them's online digital apps like spotify and youtube music which obviously you can just get it through anyway okay card info display here which basically gives you back to the original i'll press the touch screen takes you back to it there uh, i don't know whether i told you this before but this is our 12.3 version inch should i say uh, you can go 10.25 if you want or if even if you want to go oem you can basically get a car play box or mmi box stick that into settings takes you into a lot of the back end settings which is here uh, so obviously just a little few things android settings here hd video again this is uh, where you put your movies on a pen drive and you put it into the pen uh, the usb cable and it plays through there phone link this is a mirror link app I'll be truthful with you, it is a little bit hit and miss, the fact that he's not paying for the licence on this, so putting all the money into the CarPlay app, which basically means um, this one's becoming less and less compatible the more that you'd update your phone. Uh, so as you can see, there's the HD video playing, which is some, just some sounds just come in the background there, but you can see a nice quality picture there. Just go back out. Uh, dashboard. Obviously, there's you can change this if you want, change the colors, the background if you want. As you can see, gives you me revs. That's just me putting my foot down. This one's the miles per hour, um, and also there's your door alerts there anyway. So, I'll just go back down one. Applications here, okay. So, this is where all your applications would go to, which is um, from if you want to download from the Play Store. But as you see, you can got a nice uh, DSP amp processor. Uh, inside the unit which is you can customize the sound out of the systems 
a lot of systems, a lot of the cheaper variants don't have this, so they basically rely on the car's amplifier alone. Um, but as I say, this one here, you can fine tune the output on this one, which is another good feature to have on this particular system. Um, here's your Play Store there, which obviously needs an internet connection, so you log into your Play Store. Now, don't be confused if, the, if your phone's got an Android. If, if your phone's not an Android, then it's an Apple, should I say. Android only means it's the operating system where you download your apps to. It doesn't mean you can't link your Apple phones to it. If Apple phones are totally fine, you can link the Bluetooth, Mirror Links, um, CarPlay app, stuff like that. So it just means where you download apps to, and this is from the Google Play Store. That's the only reason behind Android, and it's nothing to do with just linking with Android phones. So go into this here. Um, let me see if my CarPlay is set up. This one here. Yep, okay, good stuff. Here's my CarPlay app here which is, uh, takes a lot of me uh, apps from my phone. Doesn't run any, anything like YouTube or um, Netflix or nothing like that, but you can download that from the Play Store onto the system itself. Uh, these are just basically apps from my phone, so it so yeah, gives you the added bonus of obviously uh, being able to interact with the system. So if I was to say, hey Siri, which is not gonna work at the moment because I'm taking the video, it doesn't work while I'm taking the video. If I say, hey Siri, call so-and-so, this'll do it for you. Uh, take it back to the car here. Uh, let's have a little look here, uh, let's have a little, oh god, some browsers and stuff like that. So, I'll bring it to an end today, guys. It's a um, nice little six and a half minute video there to show you what it's like in the car. I say you can go down to a smaller screen, which is 10.25. Works fully with the steering wheel controls, so if I was just to lower it down, so I'll just hide it up for you. So that's me lowering it down. Um, and also um, you can change the theme of this different colors in the background and stuff like that so hope you liked the video and uh, again on Twitter if you've got any questions uh, put the we'll put the link down below in the description where to get it from and all our contact details so again touch if you need any help and I'll see you soon for the next new video Waitison.